I'm seeing this child that's here. Oh my God, it's my daughter. And he said to me, if you let her know this soul is here, she's gonna know heaven's real. He says to me that you pray every day for his soul and her soul. Um and... I gotta tell you, your husband's here. Because the moment that I was connecting, I just saw him stand behind you and hug you to let you know that he's here and that he's with you. And first of all, I gotta tell you, this was the hardest thing that you had to go through was his passing here in the physical world. And when I'm connecting with him, this is really crazy. I keep hearing of a ticking time bomb that's here. Did he yes. have something that was that laid under, that was like underlying? Yes, yes, his heart. Because this is what's so crazy. He tells me that he, he was under the doctor's care, like the doctors were keeping an eye on this. But he said to me, he thought he had more time. Meaning that when I'm connecting with him, he shows me like him on, on certain heart medications, certain blood medications. He says to me, Matt, I didn't expect to die like this. I didn't expect to leave this world like this. And what if the one thing that I can say about your husband, thank God, because I don't always get to say this during readings, is that he actually tells me that he did what he was told. He tells me that he took his medications. Is that true? Yes. Because he says yes. to me, now listen, he tells me you're going to fight with me on this. He goes, because Matt, he goes, my wife still thinks I didn't eat right. She thinks I didn't eat right, he said to me. He goes, but we That's had true. two different ways of looking at this. He goes, I want to let her know. He goes that I, he goes, I was willing to do some things, but not everything. He goes, as long as I took my medication, the doctor said I was going to be okay. He says, so I took my medication every single day. He tells me, he yes, says, he and your husband's funny. He got like upset. Like when, when I started talking about this with him, cause he goes, Matt, how I eat is my business. That's what I, he goes, yes. that's what you need to know. Yes. Did he used to tell you that here in this world? He did. He goes to be like, how I eat is my business. I'm like, okay, sir. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how you eat. I don't know what anything about it. And he says to me that you used to always get on him because at the end of his life, right, before that heart attack had happened, he tells me you thought he was getting lazy. He yes, says I me, did. He says to me that you used to like, he, he knows now that you were talking shit about him to other people. <laughs> he goes to me, Matt, he goes, you know, I didn't, he goes, you think you know somebody? He goes, I've been with my wife all these years. He goes, it's not until I die. He goes, that I see you. He tells me that you go like shopping with different women. He'd be like, oh, I gotta get home and get my husband up. He's probably sleeping in that chair. If I know him, he's sleeping in that chair. He's staying in that chair. Oh, all he does is sleep. All he does is sleep. I keep seeing him sleeping all the time. In the recliner. He did. Yes. He said to me, Matt, he goes, what was wrong with me sleeping? I didn't even realize she was mad, Matt. <laughs> he but, did. He wouldn't get out of the recliner. <laughs> he says to me, Matt, he goes, you know what the problem was? She didn't realize I was getting old. He goes, that's the problem. He goes, I was retired. I didn't care. He says, if I want to sleep all day, let me sleep all day. That's what I signed up for. That's what he tells me. That's what he's he, saying. But he also tells me that you had like all of these weird projects for him to do here in this world. Like he tells me like that you always had different, different things. Like he was supposed to fix things. He says, Matt, she thought I was like Bob the Builder. She always had me fixing different things. The sink, the plumbing, the this. He goes, everything bothered her. It's true. It's true. <laughs> He thinks this is so funny because he tells me now in heaven, you have to hire somebody to fix somebody. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. He tells I me. Do. He thinks that's so yes. funny. He goes, your husband goes, Matt, I didn't really believe in karma. He goes, but I'm laughing on the other side, he says to me, because she always used to say, he says, I was, he goes, she always used to say that I took too long. I took too long fixing things. And now he tells me on the other side, he's watching you wait months for somebody to, to for somebody to go and fix your heating and your shit. Yes, I would ask him. Uh, several times to fix things i'll get to it he says i'm thinking about it <laughs> he never got to it he tells me it's so funny because he tells me this he goes matt he goes this is this is comical he goes he actually your, your husband's got like a dry sense of humor because he, he goes to me matt i should have died a long time ago it's amazing the things you see up here he tells me so he told me <laughs> So first of all, I have to tell you that I am so sorry for what happened the day that your husband passed. Because I know that when he was passing here in this world, that first of all, he tells me about him not feeling good that whole day. And then yes. all of a sudden, I felt this pressure on my chest. It felt like there was an elephant just like sitting right here. And I see you trying to help him. So you were trying to get him to go to the hospital at that time. Yes, yes. And I see that he also fought with you. He did not want to go. Right, that's right. Then he I called 911 whether he wanted to or not. I know, because he tells me that your last moments with, with him was fighting. You were fighting yes. with him because he did not want you. Because I keep hearing him saying, like, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not getting in, the, in, in, that, in that ambulance. 
he knew that was going to be his last ride. He tells me. I wish I had known. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, we don't know, right? And, you know, even, even souls when they're leaving this world, sometimes they don't truly know. Do I think that your husband knew 100%? No, but I think that by the way he was feeling, he knew that it was either going to be his last ride or he was going to be stuck in that hospital. He told he me um, he wasn't sure that he was going to heaven. And I said, I'm sure that you are. And the next breath, I was calling the hospital. I got to tell you, he's in heaven. He wants to let you know, thank God you called 911 when you did, because you gave him a chance. You got to know that you gave him the chance to live here in this world. Thank so by you, you so much. Oh, don't thank me. Thank him. He knows. Well, thank him because I've been talking to him for a long time, wondering why he wouldn't come to me. Well, and so, it is oh, so he, comforting. He comes to her. He, she just doesn't realize it. That's exactly what it is, right? Because yes. sometimes what happens is when you're going through grief, okay, it even happens sometimes with readings. When you're going through grief, your loved one can come to you in so many different signs. And then you'll be like, oh, but that could have been this. That could have been a coincidence. Oh, that really wasn't him. Or like if you have so much going in your mind, sometimes you don't see the signs, right? And sometimes, you know, I'll even do readings for people where their loved ones will come through and tell me their name and their date and how they had died and all these things. And they'll go back and say, well, he could have Googled it. He could have looked it up, right? And what that is, is grief. What grief is doing is grief is making you see or everything that's in front of you and picking it apart and saying, that can't be your loved one. That can't be him. He's also showing me a child that's on the other side as well. I'm seeing this child that's here. And he said to me, if you let her know the soul is here, she's going to know heaven's real. Oh my God, it's my daughter. Please know your daughter is there with your husband because he says to me that you pray every day for his soul and her soul. Uh -huh. And he tells me that you pray to God and you say, I hope, I hope that one day I'm able to see my daughter again. Every day. He says to Every me, day. Matt, can you please let my, my wife know that our daughter is here and she looks so beautiful. Oh. He says, and can you let her know that one day she will see her? He says, take it to me, take it from me, Matt, because I didn't believe in heaven. I didn't believe in the afterlife. And he goes to me, I'm sorry. Your, your husband goes like this to me, he goes, he calls me the kid. He goes, I'm sorry, kid. I didn't believe what you did. <laughs> but he said, he that's all right. Listen, I don't judge. He says to me, <laughs> I can tell you, he does. I get the last laugh because he does now. And you know that he says to me that seeing your daughter in heaven is everything that he needed to, to, to be able to know that heaven was real. And that's why he's sharing it with you. Oh, God. Thank you. Oh. I miss her so much. You are so, so welcome. Please know that this is their way of acknowledging they are always right there and with you. You are never alone. And they want you to celebrate the holidays. Your husband says to me that you almost stopped celebrating. He says, celebrate the holidays. He says, enjoy everything. He says, I don't want to hear the excuses. He says, enjoy. He says, put up a tree. He says, decorate the house how you want to do it. He says, because one day when you die, not for many years, but one day when it happens, your husband's telling me that he that he's coming, he's scooping you back, he's bringing you to the other side, and then you're you're living life by his rules. So live life on your own terms now. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. So no, it's his way of acknowledging that because he tells me here in this world, your husband's making me laugh. He tells me like, you could never do anything in the house without his approval. Like this when he was true. here, he needed say on everything. Like he didn't, and he was judging. Like, I don't know why he was worried about how the house was decorated or what curtains you were putting up. But he tells me he had to have a say in everything. Yes, he did. He had to help decorate. So he says to me, decorate your house the way that you want. And then one day when you die, we put it back. That's what he says. <laughs> I am. I'm doing it exactly how I want. He says that in the best way. But that was his personality. You understand that, right? Yes, it was. Don't So don't go and write a bad review and say, listen, Matt Frazier said one day when I die, my husband will come back. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I'm telling you what he's telling me. And I'll talk to him about that when I see him. Yeah, this, that, thank God. Listen, <laughs> you have that conversation on your time. I can't come in between a marriage here. <laughs> Yes. Well, listen, uh, thank you so yeah. thank you so much for being here. And I'm so happy that I was able to deliver this message to you. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave you with that.